and on to the next one. So we click launch again, and now the next thing we can do is multi-species differentiation. <clears throat> so the idea here is basically you've labeled some clusters as containing multiple species, um, but the AI doesn't necessarily know which of the boxes are the lines and which ones are the impala, if you put line and impala in the cluster. So um, what you didn't want to be able to do, if you actually only need the species label for the cluster as line and impala, you don't need to do this. Don't waste your time. But this is now if you're wanting accurate counts of the lines in each image and accurate counts of the impala in each image. And that's basically the idea, and you just want to be able to differentiate, differentiate which box is which. So that's the selection there. There's not, nothing else to select. I simply click launch, and we just wait for that uh, to launch. So we go ahead and grab a job. You'll see that there's actually only one cluster here, which lines up with what we've seen. We're expecting that there's only one, um, there's one cluster of uh, annotators containing multiple species. So there we go. So this is the interface. So this is also the same interface we use for correcting the boxes. You'll see you've got options in terms of um, adding additional um, boxes. So if an animal got missed, editing the existing boxes or deleting boxes. In this case, we're just correcting labels. So we can see there that's that's a sundry, so that's correct. But if I right click on it, we can see all the labels associated with cl this cluster. So I can actually then just leave a sundry. Or if we find um, something that's wrong, um, you can go ahead and get the full selection of uh, labels if you follow the plus sign there. In this case, we have, we're leaving the Pokemon a sundry, so that's fine. So I press spacebar to go to the next image. There we can see the jackal. So I just right click and say, that's a jackal. Next image, that's a jackal. Next image, and we're done.